Hey, this is Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials and uh, the Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to be doing uh, starting our Construct 3 uh, video game. I guess not really a video game, it's uh, a game for uh, my cousin, I mean my, my niece. Uh, her name is Ava, A-V-A, -A, Ava. Um, so I think that this is a good uh, start to kind of uh, go into Construct. And also, what this also means is that by the time she turns two, uh, we could get into more and in more advanced games using Construct 3 until we hit a point that uh, we can no longer do it. So, basically what this allows us to do is it allows us to eventually find the limits of Construct 3. First, we're going to start out with some very simple games. So I'm, well, I guess you could call it a game. Um, I have it right here in my hand, the physical version. So basically, we're going to make a digital version of this thing. Does it even say what it is? DVP. Oh, it's a Mattel. It's a Mattel game. Um, basically, it's an animal game. So uh, we're gonna. It has some physical components. So it has this uh, lever here, and it has this little book that flips back and forth. Uh, but we can make it uh, digital and get rid of some of these other things here that we don't need. Um, and make it a little bit more aesthetic. Uh, maybe keep this little blue outline here, but get rid of a lot of the physical pieces. And then obviously this will be played on a... Um, on a tablet, so it won't need it. Uh, obviously, it just needs the uh, tablet batteries. So let's just uh, look at that. So construct three Eva's game. All right. So oops, oops. I don't need that. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the picture. So this is the game right here. For, sorry, extremely blurry picture, but it doesn't need to be super clear. So basically it's a handheld thing, it's got a little handle here, and there's a lever here that when you pull the lever it spins this little arrow and whatever it lands on it makes a sound. So let me go ahead and simulate that for you away from the away from the microphone. So I'm gonna pull the lever. Find the pig. Okay, I basically landed on a horse, but it didn't do anything. Oh yeah, so um when you hit the lever, it's on whatever end it ended up before. Find so, what the heck? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Very strange. Anyways, um, so yeah, so now let's say we're on a horse right now. So we're on a horse right now. We're going to flip the level. And then there you see. So, uh, whatever it is on before. Right now I think that's a sheep. So it should say something about a sheep. Goat. Or a goat. Okay, now it should say something about a pig. So it's whatever this dial ended up last. So in this case, it's going to say before you when you hit this dial, it's going to say sheep, regardless of what it lands on. And if it lands on the song, it plays a little song, right? And so we could go through and uh, have you know s some sounds from these animals or whatever, um, and then maybe have my voice or my brother's voice, who's the dad, obviously, uh, play over top of this, which would be very very interesting. So. We have something rotating, we have some uh, images, and we'll probably just go online, find some of these images, and place them here. So we have this thing spinning, we have some point two stuff, or degrees here, so it's going to pick up the degrees, and from that degrees it's going to figure out with this distance what it's pointing to. Or, and also Ava could do another thing where uh, if she touches the thing, it will automatically go to it. So. We're going to eliminate this handle to the point where if you press this arrow, the arrow spins, right? Or you could press on these and have it do it manually. And then so basically what this is, is this is another page. So you could flip it over and it goes to the other page. And I think what happens is it knows what page it's on. Somehow it flipped something on the inside. So now let's see. Now it should say something about a monkey because I flipped the page to the other side. Oh, so, so it does know. So what I'm thinking is, in this little handle, maybe there's a magnet in the handle. So if you see here, these, these spots, so there might be a magnet here and a Hall effect sensor on the inside here, so it knows which page is where. 
So when it's over here, it shows on this side. When it's over here, it shows the other side. So let's see what happens if I hold it up in the middle. I wonder if it freaks out. Yeah, see, it actually... Yeah, see, it's confused. It doesn't know. It, the, the page is actually in the middle. What if I go to this side? It should say now the ostrich. What lion? No lion. No. Okay, so now it knows. So yeah, there, there is some sort of something on the inside here. I don't think it's a hall effect. I can hear something clicking. Can you hear that? Anyways, regardless of how this thing's built, um, so what we could do is we could make this maybe a bigger circle so we could accommodate kind of both. Or we could just kind of have this and maybe get rid of the songs or whatever and make this bigger. Because again, this is going to go across the whole screen. And baby's fingers are extremely small compared to our fingers. So we can make this a little bit uh, smaller. We'll, we'll look at what it looks like on the actual screen of the device itself. And uh, we'll go from there. And then, so another thing, we could delete this. We could delete the handle. We might have this blue frame or some sort of bezel that goes around it. Get rid of these. Or another thing that we could do that we could test is we have this, and then if you click on this, it flips over. Maybe do some sort of anim well, this 2D, so you're not really going to get a 3D animation. But maybe we could get it to where uh, whatever's on the back side. So if you flip it over, on this side it's a lion, ostrich, um, monkey, uh, elephant, question mark, song, alligator, parrot, bear, and hippo on if you flip this page to the other side. So we could also do that. That will uh, test some animations as well. And so we're going to get a really, really good idea how to use Construct 3 with this little uh, practice. So let's go ahead and uh, so let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's say 10 cards or, or 10 spin options. Ten spin options, and we have a random spinner in middle. And we could have another thing where, like, the longer she holds her finger on it, and then let's go, the faster it spins, or the longer it spins for, or whatever. So, um, uh, longer finger held on spinner, longer the spin. Um, can manually click on. Um, I'm going to just call it cards or something or tiles to uh, play that tile or something. Um, audio. Um, my brother's name is Jacob, so it's Jacob saying animal, then real animal noise, and then. Um, Jake saying animal name, then uh, followed by real animal noise. Okay. Uh, possible second or more pages of animals or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, Game Maker here. Uh, Constru Construct 3, Game Maker. Construct 3. Let's go ahead and try it now. Let's go launch online. Launch online. So it's going to load in here, load everything. So let's create a new project. So we're going to call this uh, Ava's Game. Uh, v and it's going to say V1. And then the date. Let's see if it lets do the date. 6 29. 19, um, standard def, sure, uh, 720p landscape, because this is probably going to be on a cheaper laptop with 720p uh, resolution, optimize for pixel art, no, we're going to have regular art, 
Okay, six twenty nine nineteen. Okay. Okay, so basically this looks like our land here. So as you see down here, mouse, this is x, y coordinate. So uh, origin is up here, down to the right. So this is 720. Yeah, 1280 by 720. Okay. All right, so event sheet one, blah, 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 show grid, blah, blah, blah. Also another thing we're gonna see with this, we're gonna see all of the, um, all of the different uh, documentation, how good the documentation is. All right, so I brought a window to the other screen. We're gonna look up some art. So let's do half screen this, half screen this, a toy. So let's look for a cow art picture. And let's go to images. Ooh, I, don't, I have paint on this. I only have paint, I think, on this computer. I like this one. So let's start off with this one. This is a, oh, it's a very, very big image. But it has a PNG, so it has transparency, which is good. So let's go ahead, right click, save image as, and let's go into videos, and let's say put Ava's game folder, Ava's game art, Ava's game art. And let's call this cow. Let's call cow one. Okay, so we just brought in Cal one. Let's go into videos. Let's go ahead and edit. And you can see this thing is massive. All right, so let's say, um, well, we're just gonna check let's say 75 pixels um so 751 so this thing is 100 1280 so let's say that we want how many here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we want ten ten by um 1280. Oops. Yeah, 10, yeah. What? No. 1280 divided by, oops, divided by 10. It's about 128 pixels. Now it's a small little guy. That's fine, it's pixelated. Save as PNG. And then let's call this one uh, Cal Resized. What? Oh, let's say PNG. What is it? PNG. Hmm. I don't know why it says it's going to lose transparency. Anyways, so now there is no transparency, but that is okay. So let's see what this looks like construct. All right, let's... Um, new. Object types. Okay, so let's drop this in. See what happens. Okay, so there it is, Cal One. Well, let's call this in here. Rename. Let's call this Cal. Okay, so let's make an instance of the Cal. That looks great. Uh oh, we have multiple instances of the Cal. There's Cal One. Size twelve eighty by seven twenty. So also we could resize it in here. Angle. So let's see here. I thought there was like a way to. Okay, so cool. So we're gonna be able to get these to rotate. But the other thing is that because we don't have a box around it, so eventually we're gonna have to go into paint and draw a box around it, so that they, so that people can know. Ooh, that's kind of cool. 
so that people can know how that's going to work. So that's one. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into paint again and we're going to draw a 1280 by 720 circle. So let's file new. Um, okay, so let's say this is 7, 7, 12, so this is 1280 by 720. And then we're going to, can we actually resize this specifically? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Let's do this. And then basically what we're going to do is we're just going to reshape it. What? Why is it not locking? Okay, so let's just do this. So right now I'm locking it. Okay, so now let's change this to that nice blue. Let's use this, that's a nice blue. I'm going to call this the game arc v1. Okay, so now we have game arc v1. Let's drop this in here. Game arc. And then this is going to be, um, I'm going to add a layer. Can we add a layer? Hmm. Mark. Huh. Should be a layer somewhere. Okay, so this is the first thing we're going to look up. Construct three. Oh. Where's the layers bar? Oh, here we are. Don't tell me you only have one layer. Oops.
There we go. So let's call this call this uh, um, let's call this uh, tiles, and then this is arc arc. Okay, so now let's go back to our cow and let's put them forward. Where is he? There we go. Okay, so now we got them here. So let's put them over here somewhere. Where's the rotation? Well, let's put them at zero right now. Let's put them right here at the top. All right, there he is. There is the cow. Cool. All right, so there's the cow. Uh, let's do a cow, and then uh, next one, let's do a lion. Okay, okay. I like this one. You'll see it here in a second. Okay, so here's our lion. Let's go ahead and open them up. There's our lion. And this guy is 127 by 72, so 128. So let's resize this to also 128. Keep the square. Perfect. PNG. Lion one resized. Transparency will be lost. Okay, Roger that. Lion resized. Drop drop to objects. Lion resized. Bring it forward. Tiles. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Okay. So now let's put some rotation on him. A little bit more. Cool. So now you see that we got a little bit of rotation going. All right, cool. So now let's do an arrow. So let's look at some arrow art here. We have two now, so let's look at arrow clip art. Let's look for a nice arrow. Let me show you guys this. You can't use a shitty arrow. We're going to use a nice arrow. Hmm. Let's look at cartoon arrow, cartoon arrow. Cartoonish arrow. Oh, there we go. I like that one. Let's see if we can find anything else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, obviously we can't have it turned because it has to know where it is, but I like this one. Save image as, and then let's call this arrow one. Okay, go over here, edit, file. So now this one we might need to experiment with. So what we'll do, so we're actually not going to edit, we're going to drop it in here. And then let's actually resize it in game. This is going to be in tiles. And let's drop it down. I think 172 is probably too small. Actually, let's go back. Let's just resize it this way. Oh, so they do have a locking feature, which is really nice. If you hold shift, you can lock it. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say probably half the size of this. So let's do that. So this is... Set, so it should be 70... should be 720 by 720, theoretically. So let's say this is half of 720, which is um, 360.
Oh, position, sorry. No, maybe a third. A third of that is um, 240. Yeah, I like it. Right there. So now this is going to be centered about. So position um, It's going to be half, right? So that is uh, 360, right? 360. So position 360. And then centered this way is 1280. Um, 12 divided by 2, that's 640. But again, I don't know. Yeah, it's not exactly. That looks close enough. So I was off a little bit centering it. That's okay. Hmm. But here's the deal, these are way too close together. Might still work, let's see. Okay, so now we got that, we got that. Let's do some, uh, we're already almost 30 minutes in, so let's do some gameplay, let's see. Let's see. Oops. Get rid of the start page. Okay, so do 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 angle zero. Okay, so this is zero. Obviously, what we would probably do is later on we would edit this so that zero is actually up here. Okay, everything's good. Blah 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 blah. blah. Add effects. Okay, good good good. Add behavior. Fade, timer, scroll, flash, wrap, a direction bullet. So this is like a movement behavior. Make an object spin. Okay, so you can't do that. Roger that, but can we play? Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at. So obviously we don't actually want it just to spin. Can we delete it? Delete, okay. So let's go ahead and go in the event sheet. Add event, arrow, next. So let's see. Okay, so what I think we need to do is we need a system on click. On and on and on and on and on. we got okay so let's bring this guy back and look at construct 3 on click well 
let's let's see if we can figure this out. So it's got collisions. Okay. I don't need to do this. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I think, ah, okay, now I know. So if we go in here, we can pick a button. Group. A button, button. So let's call this a, what, why did I do that? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Create a button, and can we add an image for the button? Layer tiles. Button. do this is my idea here put it here and then what we could actually do what I what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of cloning this and putting it behind the um, behind the the this guy so now that the button is there so I'm gonna call this spin activate spin okay okay so now in the event sheet let's go ahead add event button activate and I can say protects blah 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 on clicked next on clicked add action arrow next rotate clockwise let's say let's say 360 degrees okay now if we play it what Hmm, so let's see why that did not work. Oh, let's do a debug. Is that a debug? Yeah, debug layout. Hmm, wondering if it does not like that button. Hmm. All right, so let's see.
All right, so sorry about that. Talking to my roommate. Oh man, we're over time. We get. I want to get at least this to work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it says here we have forty-eight remaining. So let's see. Create. Oh, I know why. It's instantly rotating 360 degrees. Derp. It's not waiting every tick or whatever. So now if we play, there we go. Okay, but I want it to spin slowly. So let's edit this. Um, edit. Place action arrow next. Hmm. So I wonder if we could do. As sub event. Hmm. We don't want another action. One degree every tick. So now what happens? So on clicked, can we do on hold? No. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm I'm okay with this for right now. I mean, obviously we're over time now. So, yeah, we're going to uh, figure out uh, this. I mean, we have plenty more time. We're going to do this at least once a week. So, uh, so far, we started out. We have kind of a rough uh, sketch going on where it's rotating. Uh, obviously, we need to add more objects, uh, sound, and all that kind of jazz. And then, obviously, uh, get this to where if you touch this thing, it'll spin. All right, so this is Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials and the Legit PC. And I thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.